All right, crossover bounce hitch. Now when we do this, we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw underneath the armpits, on your waist, it's a little low. Let's move it up just a little bit. Good. All right, so here we go. Everything should stay level. Crossover, balance. Now when we hit this step, we would like to be where? Uh, fairly yeah. close to our outside of our shoulders six to eight inches or more that's not bad because you know you're going to hitch up so everybody does that what's the good part right there so you know you're too close. your feet aren't feet aren't clicking each other they aren't touching could you be a little farther apart yeah but on a normal hitch you'd be okay the question is is here's your left foot right underneath this arrow right here okay so it's right underneath that arrow now let's see where it is when you put it down and that's going to tell us how far so let's draw a line for transfer of of your body weight and so it's right there all right i don't think that's bad at all no i mean look at the stick see the stick your back in step if your back in step is almost on the stick a little behind it but your your heel is not at the end of the stick so i think that's perfect okay so now let's see where your, your body weight is transferred to right here. So that's a really nice distance to go from right there where the 23 is, where your hands are, to here. That's good. Now what, do we, what should we be careful about with our front arm? Uh, not to go high. It's too high, right? We don't want to do the windshield wiper. That is, it goes in front of our face. See how it crosses our face right there? Uh -huh. So we, we want to keep the elbow low enough so it doesn't cross our face. What's good about when you're rotating? We check two things, right? Your back foot, the back foot and your hips. Your hip, hip and back foot turn, and now you're stable. And what's the only thing moving right now? The towel. And see how you end up right, the towel's parallel to the ground when you finish full extension? Now, the other thing that I like is watch your head. All right? Let's see if I can make this line <laughs> a little bit longer. And tie it right into that. Now, watch how your head goes forward. You see how your head goes forward uh -huh. with the arm? That allows you to be really accurate. Because you're not, your head's not leading the, the rotation of your shoulder as it comes forward, pulls your face forward. But it doesn't make you off balance, and that's excellent. That's really nice. So let's put a little, little circle around your head and watch how that moves. And look where it ends up. But see how if we circle your head again? It's pretty much the exact same height. So you didn't go up, you didn't go down, you went straight ahead, and that allows you to throw really accurate and fast. That's really good rep. All right, let's clear it and go full mo. All right. Nice job.